I wanted to talk about this because this picture was sent to me um, and I had talked about this back when Pope Francis signed the fraternity um, covenant with the Egyptian leader, the Imam from Egypt for the human fraternity. But because of the fact that something is going to be happening in 2022 that is extremely significant to Bible prophecy and it's coming to pass before our eyes I thought that I would go back and revisit this story um, it's called One World Religion Headquarters to Open 2022 with this going on this shows how extremely close we must be to the Lord rapturing out the true believers and leaving behind all of those who are participating in this. So let me just read this article to you and it's says the Catholic Muslim Interfaith Council created by Pope Francis announces new Chrislam headquarters opening in 2022 that combines a mosque and a church according to signed covenant. Now I haven't believed that this was the covenant with many from the Antichrist simply because in Daniel's prophecy about the strengthening of that covenant he is talking all about in that section praying to God for the restoration of Jerusalem and the temple specifically on the, what is the mountain of God where the temple mount is so I do believe that it is a type of lease agreement for seven years that's going to be the covenant and that's going to allow the Jews to build the temple and start their sacrifices but part way through the lease is going to be broken which is going to stop the sacrifice and oblation but let me carry on with what's going on with those that are going to be left behind the announcement of the Abrahamic family house on the Said Yat Island in Abu Dhabi follows a visit by Pope Francis to the UAE in February, the first by a Pope to the Arabian Peninsula. During the trip, the Pope signed a joint declaration with the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Dr. Ahmed et Taib, that called for religious tolerance and dialogue. An interfaith council to oversee projects advancing tolerance was formed as a result of the declaration and named the higher committee of human fraternity the Abrahamic family house is its first initiative now if you go back in my videos I talked all about that document that was signed with the Pope with the Imam from Egypt and I was telling you that God had revealed to me that Egypt had once been known as the iron furnace so in Nebuchadnezzar's dream even though Rome has been seen as the iron you have two sources of iron that signed a covenant together you have Rome the Pope and then you have the Egyptian Imam two sources of iron in the end of days that don't mix with the clay and that's on the feet the final beast system of the Antichrist at the end of days and the reason why I wanted to come back to this is simply because when the picture was sent to me the caption underneath it said that they plan to open this one world religion headquarters in 2022 and for that to happen that would have to have the Antichrist nearly like right at the lead of when that happens and so I really believe that we must be so close to the rapture of the true believers but all these people um, it's going to be a different story the United Arab Emirates will build a new synagogue as part of 
and Chrislam interfaith compound that will also house a mosque and church and is reportedly set to open in 2022. As far as advancing the end times timeline goes, 2019 has been a banner year for Pope Francis and the coming one world religion. Now that was already 2019. Um, we told you back in February that the Pope has traveled to Abu Dhabi where he met with Sunni Muslim leader Sheikh Ahmed al Taib. There the two men signed a global peace covenant called the Document on Human Fraternity for World Peace. From that covenant the Higher Committee of Human Fraternity was created to implement this end time religious peace treaty. Now that committee has announced that there will be a fancy new headquarters for this endeavor, the shiny new center of global Chrislam opening in 2022. Because you have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell, are we at agreement? When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. And that's Isaiah 28, 15, and 16. The end times are unfolding before our very eyes, people. Things are speeding up very quickly. If you blink, you'll miss it. This might be Chrislam, a new foundation of the coming one world religion the Bible says will assemble in the last days. The Catholic Church might call the shots and Islam will provide the muscle with their tens of millions of jihad warriors. Now they will be martyrs for Chrislam under the command of a Roman king, but be that as it may, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. 2 Timothy 2.19 UAE to open Chrislam Interfaith Headquarters in 2022. From the times of Israel, the announcement of the Abrahamic family house on the Sadiat Island in Abu Dhabi follows a visit by Pope Francis to the UAE in February, the first by a Pope to the Arabian Peninsula. During the trip, the Pope signed the joint declaration with the Grand Imam of al Azhar al Ahmad al Taib that called for religious tolerance and dialogue. It's called the Abrahamic Family House. One World Religion the one world religion refers to the merging of all existing religions to establish a single global religion. In the picture shown above, Pope Francis meets with religious leaders from all around the world, urging them to build a future together, or there will be no future at all. Many pre-millennialist Christians believe that the Antichrist will establish one world religion based on Satanism and the occult, associated with one world government. Well, basically they have that because that's who the crescent moon god is. So they're combining with Satan. One world currency, the Wall Street Journal mentions how central banks are getting closer to issuing their own digital currency, which means the dollar might face competition as the world's dominant currency. Central banks such as the Federal Reserve already issue digital money with the commercial banks that have accounts with them. With the digital currency, transactions could happen in real time and fees would be lower or non-existent. Mark Carney, governor of the Bank of England, said technological developments provide the potential for such a world to emerge, but, but also highlighted the risk of the current dollar-dominant system and how many large nations have experimented with exploring the digital currency. One world government. The concept of one world government is that there can be one common political authority for all of humanity. 
Such a government can have jurisdiction over the entire world. This type of government can be formed through force or peaceful and voluntary. Globalists have the belief that uniting people of all nations will prevent conflicts and wars. And I guess that's why Joe Biden has been saying unity, unity, unity. Cre <laughs> creating a utopia for humanity. Conservative Christians believe the one world government is a rebellion against God, leading to the Antichrist. Regardless, all religions do not worship the same God. So the push for oneness speaks a questionable volume. Now I just want to show you just a tiny bit of the video of the buildings that they have built. This Abrahamic faith house. And they're going to build a synagogue there as well as a church and uh, they've already got those things. So next I just want to show you a little video. I'm not going to show the whole thing because I don't like looking at this. It's something for the last days and it's clear that the people combining into this situation are those that are perishing and those that are going to be left behind and the time of our rapture and the soon appearing of Jesus our Savior is really close at hand because this is coming about and I wouldn't be surprised if something happens with the third temple in this coming year now what do you think is going to happen when you've got the center of God's holy mountain in Jerusalem and the Jews are going to build the temple there, the third temple, and then you've got the Pope setting up this other world religion global center for all world religions in Abu Dhabi. There's going to be conflict during the Great Tribulation and the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, I believe the Jews are going to have trouble with whatever's going to go on on the Temple Mount there because of this situation. So let's look a little bit at the video clip of the Abrahamic faith house that they are building for the one world religion of revelation of the Antichrist. We are living in the very last of the last days. Do you realize that? Now, that's not the whole video, but I just wanted to show you a little tiny portion of what they're planning. And this is what's going to open in 2022, which is only, what, about four months from now. I don't know which month they plan to open it, but the new year in January will be 2022. And as we know, we're watching and waiting for the rapture to happen, waiting for the rapture to happen. And with the situation with the barley not being fully ripe, which people have said that that set um, the Feast of Trumpets back by a month, October 7th through 8th for the Feast of Trumpets. And um, if that's the case, that lands on my granddaddy's birthday. And I never got to meet him. So it would be really neat if he came up out of his grave on his birthday. I think that would be spectacular. And kind of a huge joy to meet him for the first time in my life. 
I want you to think a minute about what I said about what the Lord revealed to me about the beast rising from the sea. And I've told you a couple of things. I told you that the Turk had said to the Sanhedrin that they needed to get the Arab countries together to form an alliance with the Sanhedrin. I believe that's what later on became the Abraham Accord and was setting the stage for that to happen. Now the Turk told Jeremy Gimpel that all they had to do was get those Arab nations together with the Sanhedrin and then they would build the temple together in Jerusalem and not only that but that he said that the temple would be a mosque. So these are really shocking things um, and I wanted to tell you to remember about that he had made the comment to Jeremy that they would find the Messiah after they did that, that they would choose their Messiah, so to speak. And that's when the Turk said to the Sanhedrin, and we'll call it the Sea of Friendship. And I just about fell out of my chair because I'm thinking, I saw a beast rising from that sea, that Sea of Friendship. Oh, man. And then, of course, just recently, the sort of play on words about I saw the beast rising from the sea and the word the holy sea and the dragon gave him his his seat his power and great authority and the words holy sea referring to the Pope and the Vatican refers by definition the holy sea is a seat all of this has come together in a stunning array of revelations. And um, we have just got to be right on the cusp of meeting Jesus. And if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, the one and only Savior of the universe, you better do it today. You better do it now because these are the people that are going to be left behind to go through unspeakable evils. I do believe that at some point Islam will turn on the Pope and the Catholics that are building these supposed utopia that's never going to happen. You can't have people worshiping Satan and coming together with so-called believers in Christ that actually do not even believe in his rapture. In the first place, the Catholics don't believe in a rapture. And I pray that anybody that is Catholic will get out of it, you know, get come out of her, my people, lest she be partakers of her plagues. So it's not a criticism on any one person for being involved in a religion that they had no idea was going down the tubes. But uh, what you need is you need your Bible, the Word of God, and that's what you need to focus and study on. That's what you need to be drawing yourself closer to Jesus through the Word of God. Things are just stampeding faster than you can even blink. You know, back in the 1980s, nothing was anywhere near this close to Jesus coming. You know, you knew he was going to come someday, but it wasn't like, well, tomorrow it could happen. It was more like, you know, something would be revealed and then a year later, two years later, something else revealed. But now it's just like every other moment, you know, the Lord's revealing things, showing that He is coming, people. And I do believe that He's getting ready to appear, to take His true believers to be where He is. And um, time of Jacob's trouble will happen after that, and it's going to be beyond imagination. So I pray that everyone will listen and heed the warnings. It's becoming more clear all the time who is going to be left behind and who is going to be taken by those who truly know the Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible says this, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, 
starting in verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Baliel? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God, as God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. So happy that God included women in that. <laughs> First Timothy 3.16 says, And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. And he's coming down exactly the way he went up into glory. He's coming back down the same way. And he's going to appear in the clouds because that's how he went up and ascended to heaven. The clouds received him out of the disciples' sight. It won't be long now to see our King. I pray that it's any day, and I do believe that, like I said, that um, we're not appointed to wrath. That's why Jesus died for our sins. He was taking the wrath of God upon himself for us to redeem us back to himself so we wouldn't have to pay the price of being punished by God's wrath. So we're not going to be here. But those who are coming together in not even, the Catholic Pope does not even want to share that Jesus is the way. I'm hoping to continue this channel and I pray blessings upon it that God will let the true gospel go forth in these days when we're fighting so many battles and we see the end is near. So hang on and hold on because the King is near. I would say that we don't have long that Jesus is coming very soon. Thank you for your support of my channel and thank you for caring about me. Um, I really appreciate that and God sees it and he knows what people have done and he's gonna remember and I Thank him forever for the people that have been so kind. And I will be back with another video pretty quick. So hold on and I'll see you later and have a good evening. So with that, I'll just say good night.